Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Maytech F411 Mini and why this is such a really interesting little flight controller. Now one of one one thing first of all, it's a 20 by 20 size flight controller which is, you know, based for micros. However, what doesn't make sense is the holes are M4 size, not M3. We're usually used to M3 for the normal flight controllers. Now for micros, it's usually M2s. So this is pretty interesting here. Now this can be set up on a full blown quadcopter with its PDB. I mean like just a normal 30 by 30 sized quadcopter with its custom PDP here. And what that'll do, it'll just sit right there and then you can just solder everything like it's an all one flight controller. And the amount of space that it takes is minimum, like just in, it's under 10 millimeters, which is just pretty crazy actually. So what this does, what's so unique about this, what, what, what really attracts me to this is how some people hate all-in-one flight controllers. Now this is basically an all-in-one flight controller when you pair it with its PDB or a micro flight controller. Now you might say, well, the hole is completely different and it's not going to fit my M2 screws. Well, this is where, you know, Matic comes in with this little piece right here. And what that does, it'll go inside your rubber grommet. It's basically an adapter and that will take M2 screws. So now you can set this up on your micro quadcopter. Isn't that insane? I mean, you know, Maytech is doing a hell of a job. I mean, they're, they're not just creating good stuff. They're innovating too. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't seen this anywhere else before ever, which is just insanely awesome. I, I really, really, really like this. I can't stress it enough. You know, to be able to just take the most minimum amount of space possible with its PDB to basically turn it into a all-in-one flight controller. And let's say, for example, you crashed your quad, you ripped it apart, you have a micro, just remove the PDB, bring this guy in, and you're good to go. So it does provide you with two 5-volt outputs, one or well, three actually, one for your receiver, one for your VTX, and one for your camera. Now, the VTX is a bit... You know, it doesn't work for full-blown quadcopter because our quadcopters don't take 5 volts for a VTX. Now, this is in respect that it's going to be set up on a micro quadcopter. And, you know, the all-in-one um, VTXs that take 5 volt, you could just go ahead and give it 5 volt from right from the bottom here. Which we have one side for the VTX, 5 volt ground VTX, cam ground 5 volt. So this is very nice. It's all right, right next to each other. The motors are right there, one, two, three, four, and then you have your ground. You do have RSSI, current sensing. You do have the in two inverted UART. So if you wanted telemetry also, you also have a VBAT. So this thing is just, you know, it's, it's a full fledged flight controller with two UARTs and it's an F4 flight controller with the good gyro. It's running the MPU 6000 gyro and they do also do provide you with a bunch of dampening and all the hardware you need plus extras in case you lose some. So they give you six of each. So they give you six of these, they give you six of these and they give you six of these. Now the screws here, they give you six of everything. Now, let's just go ahead and take a look here. So what you want to do is, if you, let's just say you want to use the PDB with it. What you'd have to do is you have to stick this guy through right there. And then just align it perfect. So I think this would be the back. Well, it really doesn't matter. But what matters is this guy here. Okay, so let's just say it this way, like that. So you would put that in right there. And as you can tell, it's not taking much space at all. And I'll show you right now. Let's go ahead and stick this guy through. All right. So I'm not putting the nuts just yet, but look at that. That's just crazy. So each, this is 10 millimeters right here. And that's taking hell of a lot less than 10 millimeters, around nine millimeters. That's pretty crazy. So I really like this. It's a very nice compact stack. Uh, just, you know, for a super low rider frame for you and have your ESCs out, this will be just awesome. Plus the dampening is just another huge plus. The, the new da they're, these are their design dampening system here. I mean, it's pretty basic, but it, it's, it seems like it's going to be very good and it'll hold up right here. So overall, you know, this board's pretty damn nice. Um, I have been testing it. Tests pretty good, but it's useless now because they've made a lot of changes and uh, for the best actually. And uh, I didn't have any issues while running the pre-production model. So I don't expect any issues with the newer ones. And I'll be receiving some of the newer ones very soon on the channel. So we can go ahead and test those and then I'll stick them on something and then go ahead and set this up. Oh, by the way, this thing also takes GPS. Isn't that awesome? That's just crazy. So overall, you know, this is a hybrid sort of all-in-one flight controller which can work for a micro 
quadcopter as well as a full-blown you know big five inch quadcopter to six inch and above so i really like this uh matex really innovating and it's very it's very attractive and it's it's, it's very unique and um i really like this i mean this is very well thought out this is just awesome and um i think they are going to be releasing an f7 version of this little guy i think i'm not sure i think but that's going to be pretty awesome if they do and well that's it guys so that's gonna include it for this video just wanted to share my opinion on this it's kind of like a little overview it's a little nice little piece here um i really do like it uh they also have another version which uh connects via ribbon cable so i'm gonna try to get that in also so we can take a look at that one but overall um it's a nice board it's uh seems good quality everything seems very clean on this and uh yeah and that's it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video please consider joining my patreon help me support the mission to document everything and uh to enable me to bring more escs for testing as well as some fun diy projects and you can also use the affiliate links down below it does greatly support the channel and that's going to conclude it for this video guys so don't don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you next time see you guys take care